so I started this earlier and then one of the light bulbs was out in here. I went to go get a light bulb and the one in the utility room was out. So I had to stop and change that one. So today I found out lots of aha little things, okay? And you can tell that I'm just really frustrated with the whole situation, okay? Um, first off, even though the highway patrol deemed the cow owner at fault, the insurance company has finally established that it really was at uh, his fault, not fault, uh, their liability, because it, it really did happen. And no, they didn't just go by the um, highway patrol um, report. They called uh, witnesses, they called RJ, they got recorded statements, they did their own investigation. So, a week later, I'm finally approved to get a rental truck. Aha, uh -huh. moment number one. Okay, yay, we can take all of our petting zoo, fulfill our obligations, do everything we said we we're gonna do because now we're gonna have a truck, right? Wrong. <laughs> While a rental company will rent you a truck, they won't allow you to tow anything with it. So I can go and pick up my feed. Um, and as the guy said, I can throw a few bags of feed in the back of the truck, no problem. Um, I hope he understands that I'm talking a thousand pounds. Yeah, it's more than a few. But anyway, they said I could throw a few bags of feed in the back of the truck, but they don't have receiving hitches and they do not allow for liability in, uh, reasons us to haul our truck and trailer with it. Now, for liability reasons, guess who has to cover the insurance on said rental car? Me. My truck insurance is covering the insurance on that car while I have to drive it until this is settled. That's wonderful, isn't it? No because my insurance allows me to haul my trailers, but they won't, quoting liabilities, it's not on them. So how is that? I mean, I have full coverage. If my insurance is gonna pay for anything that happens to that truck, how is it their liability if I haul anything? Crazy, crazy, doesn't make any sense to me, but at least we'll have a vehicle, right? Well, you would think that that would give RJ a way to get to and from work. Aha, uh -huh, moment number two. Actually, there's like five or six in here. I don't even remember. Um, I'll say fact number two. You cannot drive a rental car until you're 21 years old. Now, that means RJ can't drive the rental. That also means that his dad isn't gonna take the truck because he's gonna use too much gas. So it's really not, I mean, at least I can get to the vet, I can get um, things done. And what you guys don't know is that little Mickey got really sick and I couldn't go get any medicines. I bawled because I felt it was like my fault. Um, Lee was using the car. By the time he got home, everything was closed and I couldn't go get any other medicines even to try. I don't know that it would have made a difference, but in my heart, it probably would have if he'd have had the proper medication. We tried every wife's tale that we'd ever heard. Um, burnt toast acting as, as charcoal. Um, an egg and an aspirin, Nox gelatin, um, everything. And so he passed away and I informed the insurance that I was holding them responsible because they didn't supply me with any way to get around. They've left me stranded for a week now. Well, lo and behold, since I said that, they um, have stepped up and provided us with a truck. I'm waiting on the, the express rental or enterprise rental. I, I don't know. I don't rent a car very often. So um, they, an enterprise has to go to Tulsa, get a truck and bring it back here for me to rent. So yeah, they're working on it. But anyway, just so you know, my 20-year-old son cannot drive a rental car. 
but he can drive a big U-Haul. I can go get a U-Haul and pull those truck and trailers with. Cost me 20 some dollars a day. That makes absolutely no sense. The law will allow him to drive basically an 18 wheeler because there's two, there's dual axles in the back of the U-Haul truck and there's the front axle. So that's three axles plus my dual axle trailer, which is five axles. So they'll let him drive a five axle vehicle on a $20 a day rental and the rental company won't let him drive just a standard car or truck, period, because he's not 21. Hmm. I have no idea how that makes sense to anyone, but apparently it is the way the world works. So, I also have entries that I've got to get into the fair. So tonight I'm hoping after I get the truck that I can get my stuff to the fair, go get the feed I need tomorrow morning. Um, RJ's just missing a lot of work. There, there's nothing I can do today. He's got to go and deliver cakes um, for the elderly. Our fair, the way it's worded, um, you only enter half of the uh, cakes in the fair. The other half is left for your family or whatever to consume. A lot of our older ladies that love to do the baking don't enter, they, they don't have family leave the whole cake with. So, RJ takes the cake to the police department or the um, fire department, and basically they donate it, and he does a community service project where everybody's going to get cake tonight. So, um, all of our civil servants will get cake on behalf of the fair and, and all the people that um, donate their cake. So, that's just kind of his little job, and he likes doing it, so. And today I get to chauffeur him around. <laughs> so anyway, we are trying our darndest to get, I'm sorry, I have an itch, to get um, a rental. They did say that my truck is totaled out, so um, I'm waiting to get a total on the estimated cost and see if I can't I have a couple of options. Um, might be able to buy it back and have enough to fix it myself. Or if not, they may have to come up with more and take my truck so that I can get my truck replaced. So we'll see what they're offering and we'll see, we'll just go from there. I mean, it's just crazy. So I'm in better spirits, but not really. Um, I really lost it when we lost Mickey. Um, I'm trying to be nice and RJ can, he looked at me today and he goes, I now see why people will go and get an attorney and really go after insurance because it's not about making it right for me. It's their bottom dollar and what's cheapest they can do. They, they don't care about our losses. The guy that had that was responsible for it didn't even call it in when he should have and there's no repercussion for that there's nothing i can do about that um and so that's where like mental stress and all that stuff comes in and i can see why people go and get an attorney and and so can rj why they would go after them for that so um anyway i'm gonna get off of here the rental guy should be here i've kind of picked up not back to my normal normal self just really looking at it going really do we have to think like this he can drive a u-haul with a trailer attached to it but he cannot drive a rental car I, I i don't even know where that comes from and even though the state law and the highway patrol says that the cow owner is at fault the insurance company has to deem them at fault Okay, if the law says they're at fault, I got news for you insurance people. They're at fault. Just suck it up and take care of it. Anyway, okay, getting off my soapbox, trying to go back to being my nice self. I'm going to post this and hopefully a garden update. One was supposed to be for yesterday and one was today's, but I just didn't get things done. I've been kind of 
just playing, um, working on something for a friend, staying out of trouble, trying to keep my mouth shut. But on the upside, since June, I stepped on the scale this morning, and since June, I have lost 20 pounds. Oh, I only have like, I mean, I want to get down reasonable, but I only have like um, 10 more to go to be able to ride the horse. And I actually, one lady told me that if a horse was used to carrying somebody who's a little bit heavier, that the horse is already preconditioned, and she has one that I could probably ride. So, I am going to maybe get with a friend and maybe get some videotape of me riding a horse for the first time after God knows what. Now, I am going to start doing some stretches now. I don't know that a week's worth of stretches will help, but getting my fat took us up there on the horse. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. We will definitely see how that goes. <laughs> there will not be video of that. So anyway, I'm gonna get off here, try and get these two videos posted. Yes, one was supposed to post yesterday and one was today. I'm very sorry for not getting that done. So trying to be in better spirits, trying to to get control of our lives. Um, just, it just feels like chaos, if that makes sense. It's just utter chaos. Stupid common sense has left the building. Stupid reality chaos. 